Hi guys. Um, something I've been asked a lot about, and I figured I'd make a video. Um, I not only make my own electric bikes, I also like to make my own wine. And if any of you do this, you probably know the basic steps where you mix your juice with your water and add your yeast, you wait it to ferment, you transfer to your carboy. After so many days, you have to degas your wine, which involves taking a big long food grade spoon and stick it into the top of the carboy, whipping it around, getting all the gas to come out of your wine, and then you can proceed on to the next step, which is stabilizing and uh, adding your clearing agents. Now, one thing I've discovered is that stirring your wine with the back long handle of a spoon takes a long time, a lot of effort, and really doesn't do that great of a job of getting all the carbon dioxide out of your wine. And um, to show you what I mean, this is a kit that's on day 15, and I've already stirred it with a spoon, and according to the instructions, I'd be ready to carry on to the next step. But before I do that, I figured I'd run a test and see what happens if I was to use... Camera off the tripod here. There we go. Um, I've got an industrial vacuum pump. Now this is used by AC refrigeration techs to uh, purge cooling systems before they prime them with whatever the gas is they put into um, AC units. But um, I've got a hose going outside because the pump emits a vapor and I believe it's mineral oil and it creates a stink in my kitchen that I don't want so I've piped that outside. Um, so what I'm going to do here is remove the bubbler like that, set that aside, put the or now this is just a normal orange uh, carboy plug. I've got one plug on one side with a small plastic hose, quarter inch line going into a piece of harder plastic that happens to fit over this one and then a soft piece of siphon tube that I just spun onto the threads and um, if I turn on the pump and we take a look at the wine you'll see here how this starts to cave in once it creates a suction there we go so that's sealed up and voila just when you thought all the CO2 was out of your wine far from it. Now this can go on for about 10 minutes. I ran my other carboy of doing multiple kits. Uh, these ones over here, I just finished degassing this one. Uh, it took at least 10 minutes to get all the bubbles out of it and it's ready to be stabilized and topped up and all that good stuff. Uh, these two are on week number two. Actually not quite, like day 12. Um, so they'll be going through this process shortly, but for now, look at all the pretty bubbles. Now I'm not introducing any oxygen, I'm not whipping my wine, I'm not putting any utensils in my wine, I'm just letting the pump create a negative pressure, uh, negative atmosphere on top of the wine, which is causing all the CO2 to rise, and as simple as having a cup of coffee and waiting for this to be done.